Hello. <laughs> um, I just thought I'd do an update. Professor Furtwang has just phoned to say he's, uh, he's not very well. He's got a... Sorry, Mike. <laughs> it's just one I have lying around all the time. I've got yours on the, in my display cabinet. Um, yeah, Professor Furtwang is not very well. He's got a cold. Um, I'm going down there next week. For Christmas, uh, I think I've told you that anyway. Um, looking forward to it. We've bought um, a barrel of uh, 49er by Ringwood Brewery. And a barrel of um, porter which is a kind of winter beer. And I think they, what they do is they roast the... Um, I don't know, is it barley? I don't know. And uh, it gives it a dark colour, like a stout, but it's not, it's not like a stout, but it's the same principle on it. And... Um, and... Um, We get a nice bottle of malt. I don't know what we're going to get yet. The Freud or something like. That. We were kind of thinking of getting um, Bush Mills, which is made in Ireland, um, and there's a kind of something different, you know. Um, so I'm quite looking forward to that, and uh, I don't know what food we're having. Maybe none. You know, <laughs> just everything all the time. But, uh, yeah, so he's not very well, so I won't be going out for my usual Thursday uh, drinkies, so I shall be, um, so I'm going to do some other things instead, so I thought I'd make my video now. Um, yeah, what's been happening in the world of tobacco and whatnot? Well, I made a few orders, I think, um, I've ordered some snuff, uh, I've ordered a German one by Bernard's, and, um, it's Paul Gotard, I think his name is. I'd never heard of him, and um, it's the first time I've ordered from these people. Tim and Julia Love, uh, who have this snuff website and uh, sell snuff and whatnot. And um, it's, uh, you know, they seem to have quite a life, right? I bought some, uh, ordered some Taxi Red, and uh, what was the other one I ordered? The old memory's not what it was, you know. Um, taxi red. I can't. It's called cloister. Which cloister? I mean, clergy. The the uh, um Akibate, I think uh, Akibate or something. Yeah, that. I always mis I don't know, mispronounced that. She, she did a review of it. It's got a kind of like a furtive clergyman. On the front of it, <laughs> which, if you knew a little about me, you'd uh, uh, realise is quite well. It's funnier than you. Well, anyway. <laughs> furtive clergyman. So uh, yeah, so the old furtive clergyman snuff. I'm looking forward to that one. Um, and um, what was the other one? I can't remember what the other one was. Um, Taxi red. Oh, anyway, so I've well, four different sorts of snuffs because Paul likes his snuffs. Although we do a few reviews whilst I was down there. I'm gonna. I'm getting two new pipes as well. Uh, I bought a brand new James Upshall apple, chunky apple, and I bought a. Uh, I'm quite pleased about this. Um, I'll, I'm gonna. I maybe I maybe do the video. I don't know when I'm going to do the video because I think the pipe will get here Saturday. But it's uh, I may be Christmas. I think it, 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 at Paul's I can't smoke in the house, so I have to go out 
his um, brother gave him a shed. So he's now got a shed I can go and uh, have a smoke in. So, um, so uh, I shall go and um, go out to the potting shed. It's a great tradition. When I was a kid, lots of comics used to make uh, jokes about this, how middle class... Men under the Iron Petticoat government, I think, would be the uh, a very unpolitically correct way to describe it, who would be sent out to the potting shed to smoke their uh, foul-smelling stinkweed uh, by their wives, who wouldn't permit smoking in the house. Well, there's a similar... But now Paul has a potting shed, so I can go and do pipe videos whilst I'm there from the potting shed. Um... Yeah, the other thing I bought, there's the yeah, brand new uh, James Upshaw Chunky Apple, very nice, uh, lovely uh, looking pipe, I'm quite excited about getting that. And the other one was a 1960, uh, I, 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 f I feel I've gone in the, in the you know, the great tracks of uh, One Man Smoke uh, by uh, getting this, but uh, it's a du 1960 Dunhill Roots Briar, it's... Uh, Quite a nice, uh, so he's just got a 1960 Dunhill Cherrywood. So, <laughs> so I'm quite excited about that. Um, I'm gonna take, so I, I'm, I'm, you know, I don't tend to take, I'm not gonna take a lot of it. I might get some Eremore Flake and I might get a tin of the Shark Holmes mixes to take away on Christmas with me. Got loads of snooze to go, so I, you know, can keep the nicotine pangs at door and loads of snuff and whatnot. I want to stay alight this bloody thing. Um, it's uh, either does or doesn't it? I'm getting into my flakes quite a bit. I like uh, smoking my. Um, you may remember this pipe. It was made in 1898. The pipe. If you, I don't know if you can see that. There's a little bit of wear on the ring, which is not surprising considering it's over 100 years old. Um, I got it on eBay for an absolute song. Uh, uh, somebody put a bid in, d you know, days before, and I swooped in there at the end. I don't even think that really is a word, but anyway, that's what I did. And uh, just quickly and outbid them and got it. And, uh, and I think I paid about six quid for it. And to be honest with you, uh, it looked fine on the thing, got to me. And uh, it was in great condition. Well, you know, as I say, considering the age, and you know, look at the rim on that. That's not bad for something that's 100 years old. It's got a little bit of wear at the top, but um, you know, it, and you know, the amazing thing is, it's got really thin sides, but you know, it's cool as you like. It, it really is. It conducts itself well. It does very well. Um, and I, and you know, it's perfect for flakes. It's the uh, just the right size. Um, yeah, so this has been a bit of a rambling video, but I thought I'd make one today and do it in the daylight rather than get back at four o'clock when it's dark and sit in this kind of hazy light and ramble on slightly intoxicated. <laughs> um, yeah, um, so anyway, I'm off uh, on the 23rd. I shall be making a few videos whilst away. Um, uh, and the goings on, um, smoking my new pipes, I hope, and um, taking some of these, reviewing some of these snuffs. Um, the professor likes his snuff, and he'll no doubt have some uh, words to say about it. Um, anyway, best wishes to you all, uh, and um, I'll speak to you soon.